So Jenny, do you think recruitment is about helping people find their dream job? It's about sales. Soft skills would be communication. You need to have a very good listening skills as well because you need to understand exactly what the candidate's looking for, what the client is looking for, so you need to have that. You need to be proactive because you pretty much need to be taking care of your accounts and you need to be looking for the jobs, you need to be being proactive to find the candidates, so it's really important for you to have your own motivation. And another thing for being proactive is very good for you to be always ahead of your game when you're doing everything, because you need to take care of a pipeline, so you need to be fast. You need to adapt to what type of clients you're going to be working with, with people and with their personalities. So adaptability will come with a lot of problem solutions as well for you. Dealing with clients, if they change what they're looking for, dealing with candidates, if they change their mind uh, regarding an offer. So it's really important for you to have that adaptability. And you need to be ready for bad outcomes because in sales is something that natural will come at some point and you need to learn how to overcome that. When you screen a candidate, actually, it's a very good opportunity to understand the business and keep as much information as you can about the role you're working for because the candidate is actually doing the work you are recruiting for. So when you screen a candidate, the best things to ask are actually the motivation. And the priorities. priorities. Priorities, motivations, because at the end of the day, of course, we all know salary is top one priorities, but if you dig deeper, they actually want work-life balance, they want family, they want so many things. And when you screen a candidate, that's the best time to ask them everything that you can use during the negotiation. So you won't be left with any surprise at the end of the deal, yeah. Key things in recruitment to gather information that you can use to share to other candidates but also very important to your team if they have the same role so they know already what it's gonna be about but also when you speak with your clients so you know what the market has to offer in terms of skills in terms of candidates so get as much information as possible from the candidate so you can become an expert of the industry you are recruiting for I think an important step to managing clients and candidates relationship is building trust, but always manage up. So you always want to be a step ahead when it comes to communication, like had Jenny said at the very beginning. Proactive listening and communication is very important because believe it or not, we do influence everyone that we talk to, just like they influence ourselves and we learn from each other. So by building this trust with both candidate and client, it's easier to have a better understanding of what the outcome will be. Of course, putting sales aside, we all wanna make the sales, we all wanna make the placements. We also can fake kindness. We also can fake how much we wanna help the client or the candidate, right? And show them that we actually are there to guiding them along the way, they will open up to us more. It's all about forming a genuine connection. I think expectation is more about be honest and direct with the candidate because they, of course, they talk with many other recruiters, mm -hmm. not just with us. And we know that in recruitment, some of them, they just give them false information about yeah. the market. Mm -hmm they promise them numbers that are not real exactly. and they get influenced by that. But I think if you are very direct with them and say, hey, the actual number you can have is gonna be this, this and that because this is the market trend, yeah. they will trust you more than someone else. Uh, because at the end of the day, I, I use also my job title. Exactly. This is my yeah, job. Yeah, it, yeah, is, yeah. it is, I, it is, it is. I know the best for you. It and is. I'm doing this job from three years ago, exactly. so I know, yeah. So. What I'm doing, the, the advice that I'm giving to you is actually from my heart, I'm being honest with you. That's the trend and that's what's gonna happen or that's exactly how it's gonna be. But you need to remember, it's a human, you're talking to a person. They have tons of things. They have a life, they have emotions. They have a, a lot of things in their mind happening at the moment, but you can also, you need to position yourself a little bit above of that, you know, because you are an expert. Changing jobs, it's a big deal. You know, it's gonna impact everything in your life. It's gonna impact where do you go, the people that you know, uh, your emotions, how do you feel about yourself, everything. So it, it is a big thing. And you need to 
also have that in mind for it for the candidates and uh, you need to learn how to manage the expectations for the candidates because it is it is something sensitive for them too